In the previous video, we learned how to import libraries into Python. Today, we have an interesting video for you. Let's start. In this video, we will understand what classification is. Classification is an approach of machine learning, which involves the allocation of a data point to a predefined label. This involves taking an input and running it into a classification technique or a classifier to map the input into a discrete class or category. Classification is used in various fields, such as medical diagnosis, spam or fraud detection, handwriting recognition, customer segmentation, risk assessment, etc. One of the most common examples of classification that we see in our day-to-day -day lives is how e-commerce websites recommend what to buy based on your previous searches. For example, if you are looking for a t-shirt on an e-commerce website and you check out a polo necked, striped, half-sleeved, and blue-colored t-shirt, the classifier classifies its type, design, and color, and then the website recommends you similar products. One of the main advantages of classification is that it is not restricted to just text or number data, but also includes image data. Consider this image. The classifier will perform image detection to predict whether the image is of an animal or a bird. This type of classification, in which input is categorized into just two classes, is known as binary classification. Taking the same example forward, we can categorize the data into multiple categories, such as animals, birds and plants, which is more than two classes. Such classification, which has more than two classes is known as multi-classification. Now, as we have understood the basics of classification, let us learn about some types of supervised classifier algorithms. These algorithms employ different approaches to classify the data in predefined categories. Each of these algorithms have some advantages over others and are chosen based on various parameters, such as size of training data, independence of features set, and system speed among others. The algorithms that we will cover are K-Nearest Neighbors Algorithm KNN Random Forests Using Decision Trees Artificial Neural Networks ANN and Naive Bayes Classification First, let us learn about the K-Nearest Neighbors Algorithm or KNN. In KNN, a data point is classified on the basis of the distance between the data point and its neighbor. Consider this graph where 0 and x are the defined classes for classification. And we have to classify a new unknown data point plus. Assume the value of k, or the number of nearest neighbors to be considered, to be 3. Then, a circle around the plus will be drawn to find these nearest neighbors. Now, within the circle, the number of zeros is more than the number of x's. Hence, the class of plus will be zero. In this fashion, KNN is used to classify a data point into predefined classes. The next classifier algorithm that we will discuss is random forest. In this method, decision trees are developed based on random selection of data items which are called variables and random selection of subsets which are small groups of the variables taken from the data. At first, an algorithm is trained on a training data set, which includes processing an input according to the algorithm, such that the output matches with the actual results. Once the training is done, the remaining data is ready to be tested for which the data element, say x, which needs to be classified is processed through every decision tree. Then, each of the decision trees allots a class, a, 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 b, B, A, A to the data point. The class in which the data point is allotted the maximum number of times by the classifier is selected, which is A in this case. Next we will discuss about artificial neural network. An ANN can be thought of as a neural network, which is divided into interconnected processing elements called nodes. The outermost layer of the nodes is called the input layer, which receives the data elements. The hidden layer processes the inputs, by assigning random weights to each of the inputs. 
and taking a summation of them along with a small value of bias. This value is then processed using activation function to provide an output. The output is then matched to the actual value to verify the process. If the output matches and there is no error element, then it is good to go. Otherwise, back propagation is used. This includes adjusting the connection weights based on the error. The set of input samples are presented to the network repeatedly until the error is minimized and the network is optimized. The last classifier algorithm which we will discuss is the naive Bayes classification. This algorithm is based on Bayes' theorem of conditional probability. Consider the example of classifying an email as a spam or not. Probabilities that a mail is a spam, knowing that the words like cash bonus, pure profit, etc. are in it, are determined. Then these probabilities are combined, using the formula on the screen. Where, P is the probability that the suspect mail is spam. P1 is the probability of the mail being spam given that it contains the first word cash bonus. P2 is the probability of the mail being spam. Given that it contains the second word pure profit, etc. The final value of P is compared to a given threshold to decide whether the mail is spam or not. Great! We hope you like this content, and in the next video, we will learn about technical indicators. If you found this content helpful, do share it with your peers, and subscribe to our channel to receive more such content.